Chief, I've been giving it some thought and Boss, I, well, there's a case. I think we need you look, to come back. Look, Chief, okay? you're not going to get me to take another case. Actually, I'm going to No, no. I'm resigning. This job is tearing me apart, Chief. You don't Listen. get it. Listen. The case. It's connected. It's connected to the guy who killed Lance, your partner. Age 26, white, male, um, still looking for immediate family. We can't locate any at this time. Uh, cause of death, surprisingly, wasn't the loss of blood from what you've seen, uh, but it was actually blunt force trauma to the rear of the head. Uh, we are still trying Where is it? The head? Head's yeah. It's where? over there. We found it separated from the body. We don't uh, know why the killer decided to cut off the head while the victim was still uh, unconscious, but we could be dealing with a psychopath here. Also, we did have one eyewitness. We have him down the precinct and holding uh, right now. But also, we're trying to... What do you need my gloves for? Fun fact. The human head can stay conscious approximately 10 seconds after decapitation. Fun fact? Killer's calling card. He... He leaves one on the corpse of every victim. Each containing their own twisted fact of anatomical trivia. It's serial? You said there was a witness? Yeah, we have him back at holding at the precinct. I'm gonna hop in with you. Get out. Huh? You heard me. Get out. Look, I don't want nor need you on this case with me. No way. I'm on this case too. I'm helping you out. You're just gonna get in my way. Look, I don't know the whole story of this case, but I know whatever it is, it almost got you fired. 
you attacked, you almost attacked a CSI. You could have lost your job if it wasn't for me. So I'm going to go with you, tag along, not only to help you stay out of trouble, but also to help you catch this guy. Don't get in my way. All right, will do. You know, I always wondered though, how, how long have you lucky? Now he gained this experience. Uh... Chief, that's him, that's the only witness. Yep, as far as we know. What's his name? Todd Walker. Worked from across this crime scene. Anything else you need to know? No. If there is, he'll tell me. Awesome, hold on, hold on. You sure you should be doing this alone? I'll be fine, what's there to worry about? I'm mostly worried about him. I don't know how you're gonna treat him. Is he gonna be all right? That's up to him. Mr. Walter, uh, I'm Detective Lawson, the KPD. I'm uh, just here to ask you a couple questions. You okay with that? Will I need a lawyer? If you did it. I didn't. Oh, well, then you shouldn't need a lawyer sitting here talking for you then, should you? No, I, I, I can answer your question. Okay, for starters, uh, why were you in the parking garage at the time of the murder? I, uh, I work at Scoops. Um, I was getting out of work and I was walking to my car, about to leave for that day. When? Um, around 7.30. Um, I was walking to my car when I saw a man. And uh, what was he doing? He was hunched over, sitting on top of this guy, and uh, saw me his head off. Uh, you're positive the killer was using a saw? Yes. OK. Uh, what did he look like? I, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't remember. The killer, what did he look like? Was he tall, short, skinny, fat? What did he look like? <laughs> you witnessed the murder, didn't you? I imagine if I was watching someone get his head chopped off, I would remember every single second of it. So, what did he look like? Uh, five, seven, five, six. Are you asking or telling me? I'm, I'm telling. What else? Facial features? Well, I, I couldn't see him. He, he had a mask on. What kind of mask? I don't know. It, it was dark out. I, I, I couldn't see him at all. Do you know what this man has done to people? Do you know? He's killed four other people that we know of, and he's still on the loose. Why? Are you, are you telling me? Look! I need to know this information, and you're gonna tell me. I'm not letting you leave until I have a description. Now tell me! Chief told me I'd find you here. You know, I've always walked by this place, but I've never actually stopped in here yet. This is my first time in here. Is your coffee any good? What's on your mind, Lawson? I... It's like trying to solve a puzzle. But after the pieces are missing, it just... Something should fit, but there's just nothing there. What do you mean? You were transferred here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I requested uh, to be transferred here. Mm. But like, uh, why, why Wisconsin though? It's, there's just nothing here, and nothing ever happens. Though I guess when it does, you know. You've seen for yourself. Yeah, it's it's more of a sort of a getaway, I guess you could say, yeah. from memories. I uh, I don't know if I ever told you, but uh, I didn't get a chance to. But, um, I moved here because uh, my mom, when I was a young age, 
uh, she took her own life. She lost the battle to depression. And just where I was growing up was too many uh, harmful memories that I kept bringing back. Uh, memories of her, not of me. And it's just, at a certain point, you just, it's just too much. And you just can't, you just can't keep doing that to yourself. So I tried to get away from that. I tried to move to a place where I could start new, basically. So I moved here. It's honestly part of the reason why I became a detective. Um, I wanted to help people. I wanted them to help people be able to save the ones that they love. Because I couldn't. So that's why I transferred. Anyways, um, your partner. I heard a little bit about it from the chief. Um, I also got that when you were mad that I was your new partner. No hard feelings or anything. But what what happened? Did he move away? I I don't want. I don't. I'm sorry. No. Sorry. What do we know about the case at least? Though? Any new information? I know you said it's like a puzzle piece, but we gotta have something. We were on patrol. Got a call about a disturbance. Noise complaint coming from an apartment complex. Neighbors said they heard animal noises, cats and dogs. Anyway, we we got there. Landlord gave us the key. Went up to the room. Aaron and Lance and I. He checked the kitchen. I went into the bedroom. And that's when I heard the scream. I came back in. But by then, there was nothing I could do. It just tears me apart, you know. I'm not going to pretend to know how you feel. I've never lost a friend, but I did lose a mother. And I do know one thing about loss and grief. So you can't let it tear you apart. You gotta, you gotta, as hard as it may be, you gotta push past that. Don't forget about it, because you will never forget about it. You need to learn to live with it. People would tell you to forget, move on, but you won't, you won't. You won't be able to move on, you won't be able to forget. What you will be able to do is you'll be able to live with it. You'll be able to learn to not let it take over your life, not to let it control your life, control your emotions or any of that. Because that happened to me when I first lost my mom. I became reckless. My life, I started throwing it away. I almost got in trouble with the law a few times. And even though it's what happened is terrible, there's nothing you can do to change it. You just have to learn to live with what happened and try to make the best of it. Yeah. Thank you. That's really, that, that's insightful. Just make sure the most important thing of all of this is not to forget. Remember what he stood for, how close you were with your friend, your partner, and make sure that you keep the best memories. I'll be right back. I got the check. How much was the damage? You don't, you don't want to know. Don't worry about it. Thanks for covering it. No problem. Ooh. Let me use the restroom real quick. I'll meet you in the car. Mm. Yeah. No grease, no, no oil, grease, no oil. Yeah, yeah. perfect. So then I said, no contract for you, and I needed that one to go. What's up, Lawson? You wanted to talk to me? Yeah. Ran into some findings on the case. Oh, no kidding. What'd you find? Ran the note from the body in the parking garage down at the lab. Checked the, the handwriting. What, 
What did you match it to? I know you did it, Emerson. Why did you just lock the door? I know you did it. Did what? I didn't do anything. Are you, are you assuming? Are you saying I... You, you think I killed those people? Me? You think I did that? I know you did. From what? How? How do you even know? The handwriting was a match. 97.2% to that check that you signed down at the cafe. It was clearly written by you. I didn't, I didn't do it. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Whatever you're going through, you talked about it. I can help you. Whatever you're going through. What, you may, you're trying to find somebody to fill in the spot of who killed your partner? I get that. But why are you coming at me? I didn't do that. Look. We can get you help. We can, you can take a vacation, find out who it is. But it's, it's not me, all right? All right? Why'd you do it? I just want to know why. You ever have... You ever have an addiction, Lawson? Something that drives you so much that it's just... You can't get rid of it? Can you relate to that? No, I didn't think you could. Killing to me... It's like an addiction. If I don't, I have withdrawals and I get headaches and I just I don't I don't I don't enjoy it, all right? But I I need to do it. It's something I have to do. It's so strong. It's I just need to do it. I'm not making any excuses for it, but it's just it's like an addiction and I just need to I'm sorry about your partner we can get you help we can you're offering me help after what I just told you that's that's a shocker Everson you're not beyond saving that's where you're wrong I think I'm too far gone I think mentally no matter how many therapy sessions or whatever I go that's, to. It's not true, Epperson. Let me. I think I'm too far to get any help. I think it's to a point where no matter how much convincing you try to do, I'm always just going to enjoy it. It's no. a part of me now. And I have tried in the past to get past it, but I just... I don't think there's any helping me, Lawson. So I appreciate it, but I don't think so. I did what I could, and that was help you. I tried to help you move on, and that's enough for me. But Let me help you. I... You're not too far gone, no matter what you say. No matter what you've done. No matter how you feel about that. There's always a second chance. Please, we, we can fix you. Just give you a chance. I disagree strongly. I'm going to leave this car. And I'm going to resign tomorrow morning. And I'm going to leave your life forever. So that you no longer have to deal with me. Are you going to kill more people? And I'm going to move. And you won't hear about me anymore. Everson, are you going to kill more people? If it helps with anything, your partner was the first one I didn't enjoy killing. I'm sorry that happened. He caught me off guard when we were in, when he was in the room, and I thought he had a gun pointed at me. I th it was out of fear. I didn't enjoy killing your partner, but I am sorry that that happened. But like I said, I'm going to leave, and you won't have to worry about me ever again. I'll unlock this door.
Are you gonna turn me in? Will you let me? Prison won't do me any good. Either will a psychiatric hospital. I think the best for you is to let me go. I'm fine.